Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can create groups in the item list for items you may purchase individually but want to display as a single line item in a sales form. For instance, if you sold gravel by the ton and also assessed a service charge for the delivery, you could create both the gravel, a non-inventory part, and the service charge, an other charge, and then create a group, like gravel delivery, that consists of both the gravel and the delivery charge. That lets you show a single line item in the invoice instead of two separate line items. However, you can show the component items if you prefer. Note that before you can create a group, you must first create all of the necessary items that will be included as parts of the group within the item list. After creating the items to add to the group, you can create the group item by clicking the item button in the lower left corner of the item list window, and then selecting the new command. In the new item window, select group from the type drop-down menu. Enter a name for the group into the group name slash number field. Then enter the line item description of the group to display within sales forms into the description field. To add the items to the group, click into the first available row underneath the item column and use the drop-down that appears to select the first item. To specify a quantity for that item, click into the adjacent Quantity column and enter the desired quantity. You can leave the Quantity column blank to specify the quantity when you use the group item within sales forms if desired. Repeat the process of adding items and specifying quantities until you have added all of the necessary items to the group. If you wish to print the items within the group in sales forms when this item is used, you must check the Print Items in Group checkbox to enable the display of the group's items. Note that the items listed within a group item are always shown in the Data Entry view of Sales Forms, so you can change the quantities if needed. After you have created the group item, click the OK button to save the item into the item list. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.